Well, SAFTA says the proposed minimum wage of 3,500 rand is the biggest attack on the working class since the dawn of democracy. Thousands of SAFTA members have taken to the streets of Johannesburg to protest against what they call a declaration of war by the ruling class of white monopoly capitalists. Anade Mota has taken the day off to take part in the strike. Mota says the proposed minimum wage of 3,500 rent is a slavery wage and a slap in the face of workers. She's accused government of being insensitive to the plight of the workers. She says she has had enough of the exploitation experienced in the workplace and that she's battling to make ends meet. The cost of living is too much. We can we can afford even just you 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 get that salary just finish in transport, especially those people who they stay far, just finish on transport and you pay rent. The rent is after that you don't have nothing for for your children, so you just wondering why I'm even waking. So it's not fair. South Africa is said to be the most unequal country in the world with the highest Gini coefficient at about 0.68%. Gini coefficient is a way of measuring income inequality and about 47% of workers earn below the proposed minimum wage of 20 rent per hour. Saftu says it intends to fight tooth and nail until the current status quo changes. The minimum wage bill was supposed to be implemented from May but had since been postponed. Now Lady Matlabeng, SABC News, Johannesburg.